It's Engineer 775 with the crew, Johnny and Abraham. Full sun. We had some trees removed here. We're on a we're on a site in Georgia, putting up a, a smaller system than we've been putting up, but it's a nice. Let me show you. Where we're gonna put up these. Real, I haven't used these LG panels. They're awesome looking. Really, really nice LG 350s. Um, some super duper panels here. So, putting up uh, 13 of them on this garage roof. We're gonna be installing a Solark 8K. This is a another grid tie hybrid battery backup system. And I'll have uh, generator support as well. So we're just getting ready. We're gonna we're gonna use the Trojan Solar AGMs on this job. 16 of them for roughly 300, what is that, 350 amp hour, 750 amp hour battery. And uh, just kind of laying things out. Day one, we get to the site, usually just hanging inverters and uh, placing things to make sure that cars don't hit things, everything meets code. So we just unloaded the trucks and the guys are doing a layout on the roof right now. We have some electrical work to do outside in terms of putting disconnects for the solar array that'll be next to the meter base over here thankful for an attic that's fully open might show you that later we put in a solar disconnect bringing it down from the soffit down for our uh, being able to shut off the inverter and there's two panels in the house we're going to turn one of the panels into a critical loads panel so we got the guys inside right now moving circuits between the two and we'll have a dedicated critical loads panel that makes it nice so we're gonna be gonna do a separate video on these solar roof hooks but uh, looking forward to this first time they've used them before a couple jobs we're gonna be using these quick bolts by the company named solar roof hook they're actually out of South Carolina Rock Hill I believe and uh, these things are awesome and I'm gonna do a separate video on that we'll be showing you that installation so just to, we got some beautiful weather here good to get together with the guys and right. do another solar system they're all harnessed up and being safe today all right we'll be back sorry about the wind noise folks but that's the that's what you got to deal with when they're up on the roof and you're outside so a little dab on the hole quick bolt our first quick bolt is going in Got a six millimeter driver. Little dimple. They've pressure tested that, no leaks at all. All right, we have a selection of the quick bolts already put on. Abraham's about to do another one. He's already pre drilled the rafter. Again, put a little JTS on everything. Do a little spiral on the quick bolt gasket. It's called mule hide. It's called mule hide. Mule hide sucks a lot too. Yeah, it does. All right, he's running one in now. Dimple it a little bit, and it's set. Nice. I hate to say it, but a lot of this is by feel. You gotta feel it. You gotta hear it, you gotta feel it. You gotta live it. Alright, at the end of day one, we've got it, everything kind of roughed in the way we want to do it. And we've got our solar home runs pulled down from the roof. Coming down, DC on this side. We'll be bringing our AC feeder lines down here. We're going to use this midnight uh, cabinet interconnect box here whatever you want to call it it's just a, a way to put a DC disconnect in for this battery so we have a 250 amp um, breaker to disconnect this battery and uh, so got some work to do some battery cable work to do there no big deal so yeah it's a mess I'm gonna do a little clean up and get out of here and go get something to eat and then uh, on the roof let me show you how the Done pretty well on the roof today. Yeah. 
Rails are up. We've got our penetration in the roof with a solar deck there. That's where our home runs go, though that'll be under the panel, of course. You won't see any of that. And then, uh, so, got uh, snap and rack rails and L feet sitting on quick bolt, on the good old quick bolt attachments to the roof. So it does a really nice, the guys did an awesome, very neat job. And so we'll put panels up in the morning or sometime tomorrow. And then the battery bank, we'll have a pretty good dent into finishing this thing tomorrow. So this is kind of a two day, I, I, it'll probably be a two and a half day job. The uh, disconnects out here, I'll show you what we're gonna do. Which reminds me, I gotta pick up a generator inlet box. So our AC disconnect is here and we have our generator so we can, if the grid goes down or we want to use our portable generator to charge batteries, we can select which side we're going, grid or battery here, and then we'll have a little generator, 30 amp in, input for the customer's uh, portable generator, allowing them to uh, charge up batteries or run loads. So we'll finish that up. We need a couple ground bars pretty straightforward and then well you'll see the rest tomorrow so we're gonna pack up and get on down the road the last pay phone in Georgia it's the last pay phone in Georgia I'm still crying but diddly down love is on the line disconnected this old phone's been dead. It got no dial tone. I don't know where it's going. You, you know? are much better over here. I got no dial tone, and then it's like disconnected. Yeah, I got no dial. I can't find a quarter to save my life. Part. Then... All right, we're getting our act together here. The beginning of day two. Gentlemen are up on the roof. We've got our Solar Worlds upside down and dressed and ready with their suppressors on there and went ahead and landed the home runs in the soul arc these guys are about ready for me to get them some panels jacob is in here working away jacob's new to the crew say hello jacob hello jacob <laughs> and um so we have uh landed the solar so they can go ahead we're going to use the disconnect here we're bringing we brought the solar down through the attic through a solo deck which is pretty awesome way to do that i'm working on putting a because we don't have a dc disconnect we're going to go ahead and use this midnight 250 amp breaker here so we can disconnect we're going to break the positive of the battery bank which we're still getting things situated we've got a bypass transfer switch in here in case anything ever does go wrong homeowner can get back to the grid but for now we're just building the system getting it in place I'm gonna start bringing solar panels up to the gentleman on the roof and then uh, then we can build this battery we got a lot of interconnects they finally came in so we're good to go all right so let me get back to the roof it's nice about this job everything is nice and close um, and Dusty is in the working on a critical loads panel, consolidating breakers, and they have up to each uh, leg of the inverter to 6,000 watts. And they're also been testing, and they're exporting uh, 9,000 watts continuous out of the Solar converter. So that's pretty impressive. We've been monitoring several systems, and we see it just exporting 9kW for five, six hours in some cases. These guys have been working on a new song. What's the title of the song, Johnny? Last Payphone in Georgia. The Last Payphone in Georgia. We came across a payphone yesterday at a restaurant. And uh, anyway, we get a little distracted trying to write this song, aren't you? Yes. I don't think it's more, it's, it's not as much as the disconnection is, it's the connection with the lost connection. Get that, folks? It's a connection with a lost connection. Yeah, and a misconnection. All right. We got this all ready for panels yesterday afternoon, so I think we're ready. You ready for the first panel yet? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that's called, but that's our new way of communicating with each other, like a 90-year-old man trying to get up out of his chair. 
So these millennials are sounding like they're 90. Okay, panel time. Mounting a few of these Solar World 350s on a beautiful day. Getting it done. All right, the last day, we're wrapping up this job. Just going, making sure the inverter and everything's working right and all our settings are correct in the Solark 8K. I don't know how many of these we've installed now. I think it's seven or eight. And you can see the sun's coming up. We're here early in the morning. The sun's coming up. It's using some grid to run the loads and the battery's being charged. So now it's using some battery. You'll see the display pretty intuitive tells you what's going on if you want to dive in you can find out what's going on in each phase of the inverter and now there's some pretty awesome capabilities able to do 6,000 watts on each each phase surge to 20,000 watts pretty impressive there's no other transformerless inverter that can do that kind of performance a little bit more about the system that we've added a bypass here in case there's ever uh, a glitch battery failure, something got turned off, customer doesn't understand what's going on with it, they can come out here and put it in bypass mode. And uh, before I forget, we also, when we finish a system, we do a commissioning video and walk the customer through every aspect, well not every aspect, but what they need to know in case they need to, to, to um, get back on the grid or switch over to a generator. And, um, and then we can also walk them through changing settings but for now what we do is a commissioning video that helps the homeowner just get more familiar with their system so if there are any issues they can go ahead and uh, handle it themselves in most cases so again back to the bypass All right now you see the lever on the transfer switches in Solark this is feeding the critical loads panel and then if there is an issue they can throw the lever down into bypass mode and bypass it because this inverter does not have a bypass breaker as many do um, one of the things that's sometimes overlooked, they had to do it for the EMP hardening, hardening part of the inverter. There's a disconnect, solar disconnect. We try to label it so the customer knows that if to shut the solar off on the roof, you, you got to reach back under here and turn that disconnect off. There's also the Wi-Fi dongle back here. So right now we've got it on an app. You can pull up the app. And the app is Smart Client. Let me just show you should have that pulled up but um, I'll show you that here shortly so this is the smart client app it's on iOS and Android and you can pull it up and see how your system is performing um, on this one I've just started putting the information in this is a 4.6 kW plant and uh, oh boy just what you want to see my Facebook notifications so it'll calculate how much you made that day what it's producing and it'll put out a nice little bell curve on a sunny day so it's nice that no matter where you are, if you're tied to the internet, you can see what's going on with your system. We use the Trojan SAGMs again in this uh, Gladiator rack. They fit perfectly. This is a 750 amp hour battery bank. It'll hold 2,000 pounds per rack, so you could, you could double the capacity, 50% more capacity, not a problem. This we did add on this job, which I'm really glad that we did. It's a nice midnight box it's about $160 box with a heavy-duty 250 amp breaker uh, we're breaking the positive on the battery bank so for any service you can just easily turn that off and uh, the inverter off and then you can uh, check to see if any breakers are tripped sometimes we put a lot of circuits on this so if the perfect storm happens in this house where they've turned on all their loads simultaneously, they might trip the breaker. It might not because, again, it's single surge 20,000 watts. But there are three breakers in here that we'd have to take this cover off. And if it tripped it, we could walk the customer through turning that breaker back on. Not a big deal. All right, I'll give you one. As the sun comes up, let me show you the sun's not up yet, really, to show you the sun on the solar. She's just starting to, and it's we're into pollen season now, so it's always interesting how much pollen ends up on your panels. Um, but it's a nice, nice, nice system. And then we added a, the generator inlet. Everything's labeled now, so I'm just showing you again. <coughs> so we have 
Uh, the grid disconnect, we have a transfer switch we put in. He has a small portable generator, so now it gives him the ability to either run loads in his house with a generator directly, and he can manage them, and or he can uh, charge his batteries, or both, depending on what the house is doing. So gives him some nice, nice choices here, nice backup choices. So we're glad, nice little system. Uh, we had a great team again, and we were able to knock it out in two days. And we're just here cleaning up, and we're heading to the, heading to the next job. It's the first one I've worked on with a solar roof hook. That was just an amazing, I think, just a revolutionary part of the install on an architectural shingle roof is the solar roof hook. Um, the quick bolt attachment. And these are the first time we've used the LG 350s. They're really nice looking panels. And uh, so, very, he's very happy. Customer's happy with the system. That makes us happy. If we can help you again, spec out a system, whether it's a self-install DIY, or you can contract an electrician, um, we're, we're going all over the place. We, we typically like to do a site visit first, and we'll go and see how what you want to do, and then we'll... Uh, come back and install a system for you and um, we will send you an estimate with a contract and uh, make sure everything's done to code and done to your liking so um, I guess that's it from this little job in an undisclosed location another EMP hardened system installed by Gain Solar and Practical Preppers if you need to get in touch with us get in touch with me uh, just send me an email info at practicalpreppers.com. I'd be happy to work with you. Take care. Okay, we're here in the mechanical room, laundry room, where they had their electrical panels, and we ended up just reorganizing these two panels and turning one of them, this one here, into the critical loads panel. So we took all these circuits were in this panel, and we took the double poles and put them in this panel. And then the grid feed for the inverter is in this panel that goes out to the disconnect and over to the inverter. So we just basically did a swap. It was nice to have, to be able to have two panels here. Typically we have to install another panel, but this thing is piped, was piped already and we were able to just move everything over. And that takes quite a long time. It takes about a day to do that, but it uh, had to be done and that, it just worked out really well that we didn't have to cut in another panel. 